Hey, I have a uh, question for anyone who might do automotive repair. Right, I got a new outer CV boot for the truck. And I was expecting a different kind of clamp. The inner one has the kind of that you just pinch, has a little ear, ears on both sides. This one's just like a ring. Sure, I probably could go to Napa or something, get something else. As you see, it now it fits loosely over this end. So is there like a special... I see like there's two different kind of pliers. There's an ear type plier and one of the non-ears. Would this be one of the non-ears? Do you just kind of like stick pliers in these little cutouts and they like tweak it? To take up the slack? Not sure. Never seen anything like this before. There it is, just a whole ring. So if you have done any sort of boots, these actually might, like a similar style, could be on like a power steering rack as well. Yeah, let me know. This is weird. I thought it was going to be different. See, that actually has like a little bend in it, so maybe it started over there. I don't have a factory service manual or a manual for this truck. So, that kind of sucks. This is how the inner one is. It's kind of like that with a little ear, but the outer one isn't. I don't know. They make like these kind of pliers, see earless type, but I'm not sure how this would crimp it. Earless type, CV joint boot, I don't know. Alright, let's see what we have now, hopefully this light works. But on the inner one, it has that same color, and the outer one I'm sure looking at, oops, sorry, the outer one has that same color as well. It is not pinched. It's basically like they expand the rubber and then this gets tapped on somehow. Just use a punch maybe, put it on first, work it over it, boom, 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 boom. I don't know. That is weird. This is the one that's leaking though, you press on it and you hear it has a little hole in it somewhere. Maybe someone poked a hole in it. You never know around here. Yeah, that's weird though. Does anyone know about this? I can't get a good freaking view on it. There's the clamp. There it is over here. It's... There's nothing that's pinched like the inner one. Inner one has that little pinched. Oh, well, this one is that one. That one's easy. Unless worse goes to worse, I just go to the parts store and get, uh, little clippy do kind of thing like a pinch in case that doesn't work out I don't know I don't know sure I'm making a mess never seen anything like that before so I don't think there'd be like a special tool that you put this whole half shaft in to press down on there because I don't see any teeth marks or nothing and again, the whole, whole way around it, there's nothing that's pinched. Huh. Or I get a normal one, I have room for it, and it's crimp it. Put it back up. Ah, uh, never mind. I guess they were doing this for a while. Check this out. Same thing, get a ring, get the clamp. They got this stupid special tool that you put the shaft in, and I guess it somehow seals that. That sucks. Now we gotta get the other style. <sighs> Nothing ever works out the way you want it. But this is called, what the hell, swag ring clamp. That's what they call it. Damn it! That, you can buy the special tool for 60 bucks used. I guess you just tighten down this shit and it moves that ring. Cool. Or I can just get two of the regular rings, which I'll probably do. So there goes General Motors screwing over the operation again. You gotta make everything difficult. That's style. That's style. That's so freaking weird. Yeah, that just pops right in on that side. This is 1994, but same style. They didn't change shit. Shit, it's right down. Yeah, you can get that, like you said, I think I made a video of it for $70, not buying it though. Mm -mm. 
Oh, look. Oh, I see. That's how that Lyle one, I got it. Yeah, you could put a, um... It has two spots for a 3H. You could put a breaker bar on one side and a torque wrench on the other. Okay. That's how that works. The one on eBay, though, is missing the little support that goes in. It's a little threaded rod. So, no good. So many GM dealers have closed that you do find the parts. I'm not paying 70 bucks for that. Fuck no. It's going into axle territory if I pay 70 bucks for that. I could buy a whole new axle for what cost the boots and that. Well, not really. It's axle still more money. It's on eBay. The biggest fraud in the world. Look at this guy trying to sell CV axle boot clamp for a Toyota Tundra. Okay, you're going to cut the old ones off and put worm clamps on it. Like seven people fell for it. $21 for four worm clamps. Son of a bitch. So I can buy the clamping tool for $70 used, not doing it. This is the inner style, which is the clamp I'm going for for the outside. I want one of these, but you can't find it. Except the Massachusetts the store sells it, so I'm looking going to order from them at 978 area code. I know exactly where that is. That could be Salem, Massachusetts. It could be over there. But you see, you measure it. You want one that's just a little bit smaller than this. Well, you got to measure the inner. That's going to squish. That should be all right. This has a special little U, you know, like I showed you the U thing you put in there, and it somehow shrinks it. Stupid. Can't believe it. Nothing's easy. And you see that brand? O E T. I don't know. O O Ticker. I don't know how to say it. Blah 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 blah. Kurip Kur Kim Kimping Raw. Nange. Um, yeah, but they make these clamps. I believe the clamp I have, it says OET on it. It's probably the same company. So you need something like that, and they're hard to come by. I'll go run around town and call up. Maybe someone has a clamp like that, a CV boot or ear clamp. I don't know. But that's the brand right there. Hard to find. Stainless. That's about what it is.